In January in Swat, Pakistan, the Taliban demand all schools for girls close their doors. The owner of the Khoshal private school, Zawadin Yusufzai, loses his business of 14 years. Malala, come on. His 11-year-old daughter, Malala, loses her dream. I want to get my education and I want to become, become a doctor. <laughs> it's okay. I have rights. I have the right of education. I have the right to play. I have the right to sing. I have the right to talk. I have the right to go to market. I have the right to speak up. She's become the voice for girls around the world. In 2011, CNN interviewed Malala Yousafzai, a Pakistani girl who gained international headlines two years earlier for speaking out for girls' education through a blog she wrote under a pseudonym. When I see my name in the newspaper, I feel that yeah, God has given uh, this honor to me and I shall accept. When I looked at my, at my people and my, my school fellows and, and the ban on the girls' education and the, and the Taliban, so I thought that I must stand up for my rights, the right of education, I think the right that, for people. that what's important here is that we take it for granted here that, that w girls go to school and that we are able to be educated, but I think that that is really important for, for young girls here to understand that that's not easy, that women and children are not treated the same way in other countries. Well, um, chill, I see children having uh, this quality education, having all the facilities, classrooms, science labs, but unfortunately around this world there are countries where children do not even have desks to, to sit and they do not even have chairs, do, some do not even have teachers in their schools and some do not even have schools at all. And I really think that education helps you to get an identity. Uh, it helps you to know about your basic human rights. It helps you to discover about yourself, about your talents, about your skills and how you can help your community and your society. So I did not want to, to, to be deprived of that, of that opportunity myself and I want this for every child, that no child should be deprived of the basic human right of education. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of God, the most merciful, the most beneficent. Your Majesties, your Royal Highnesses, distinguished members of the Norwegian Nobel Committee, dear sisters and brothers. Today is a day of great happiness for me. I'm humbled that the Nobel Committee has selected me for this precious award. This award is not just for me. It is for those forgotten children who want education. It is for those frightened children who want peace. It is for those voiceless children who want change. I'm here to stand up for their rights, to raise their voice. It is not time to pity them. It is not time to pity them. It is time to take action. So it becomes the last time. The last time. So it becomes the last time that we see a child deprived of education.